Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're doing GMA Wednesday for today's second video. So we're going to have a look at the GMA season. Well, we're going out through the next three months, which is going to take us through November, December and January, since we've been a part of winter 2023-24 with the GMA season. And I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We're going to be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at 6 p.m. and then straight up out, I mean exactly right one minute, or probably less than that, after the live stream at 7 p.m., uh, we are going to have the fourth and final Christmas 2023 Sneaky Peaky. So, a lot of content on the channel today. Please uh, like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Uh, just to say that we will be doing the uh, second um, winter 2023-24 season one round on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on Saturday. We're going to get all the long-range models together from the World Leading Forecast Centres, around 14, 15 of them. Um, and uh, we'll see what they're all showing for the, for the winter of 2023-24 for only the uh, second time this season. Now, within that, the JMA will form part of that, but we always like to take this one out and isolate it, look at it in its own terms, because you can't get a lot of information from the JMA seasonal model, but we won't have time to drill down into the detail with the season model around because we're going to have so many other long-range models to show you. So, well, we'll have a look at this one in detail for this video, and uh, let's do that for you right now. So, we're going to start off with month number one, 500 millibar height along from the Arctic of the North Pole view down. So, this is the North Pole just here, wider Arctic circle around there, and then the statues are through here. Here. So this is for November, month number one. Blue extrapolating to below average height, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average height, which is high pressure. So next month, November, will be dominated by low pressure in the Atlantic. We'll also have an area of higher pressure to the north and to the northeast. So that's a blocking area of high pressure way to the northeast, but not in a position if this forecast is right to anything particularly cold for us we just keep west seas coming from off the atlantic with that area of low pressure being further unsettled conditions so another unsettled uh month in november this is december so in december still with the top of low pressure in the atlantic but weaker and further away from us <coughs> excuse me the high pressure the above average height strengthening within the northern latitudes and uh, that could well be getting wind round into a little bit more of a southeasterly you know it's uh easy southeasterly type direction there so it's trying to get cold but i think maybe the low pressure in the atlantic will force the wind to keep from like south of east and we will maintain relatively mild conditions uh across the country and then this is January, so this is bump number three, long way out, but we see strong area of high pressure into Greenland, then back into the Arctic. Very cold looking signal for Eastern America here, uh, with this chop of low pressure. That would bring, you know, really cold and wintry weather into northern and eastern parts of America. For us, we're bringing the low pressure across the Atlantic into West Europe. We are very close to pulling in cold air from the east and from the northeast there, I have to say. We really just need to send this uh, low pressure amber jet stream just a little bit further south. We'll move it more towards Biscay and into um, Spain, Spain, Portugal uh, down there. Um, and we will really open the door to those northeast winds. As it is, I suspect what's happening there perhaps is that northern regions are cold and wintry in the south. Maybe we're maintaining mild weather. There will probably be uh, weather, weather fronts, you know, that mark the boundary. So, <coughs> excuse me, again, for the south, could be very wet for the north. Maybe a bit on the wintry side. It's month number three. It's a very long way out. And, uh, you know, subtle adjustments will make an important difference there to where we come away with a cold January, actually, with that level of northern blocking. Right, so let's go through the chocolate and latitude uh, charts next. So we can't see Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, all those areas off the chart up here. But we've had a look at that few down, so we know what's going on. UK, Ireland in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Reminder of the month number one 500 millibar height and only for November looks unsettled, low pressure 
is in the Atlantic along with uh, winds coming in from off the Atlantic as well. The temperature anomaly for month number one in November is around to ever so slightly above average, but it's not a particularly big deviation. We do see yellow colours both just to our east. Uh, and a wet average month as well. So we uh, seal the deal on a wet autumn. And uh, that would be uh, good news. Gaz Web is also forecast. That would mean that the forecast is uh, verified correctly. All right. So uh, month number two is going to be December with higher pressure slightly to our east, especially to our northeast up here. Lower pressure is still out in the Atlantic. Oh, I forgot with month number one to have a look at the wind arrows, didn't I? So let's quickly do that as well. We can see the mean wind direction. I don't think there'll be any great surprises with that. It's cyclonic sort of uh, west-south, westerly really coming in from the Atlantic in November. Right, so back to, uh, back to um, uh, December. So the temperature anomaly in December is predicted to be uh, around normal, slightly above. Another rather wetter than average month is predicted there as well in December. And the wind direction. So again, it's like southwesterly, southerly, really. Always try to make these black arrows out, but like from a southerly wind direction. So a relatively mild start to the winter. We do get south east just over on the continent to our east. So we're not all that far away from something cooler, but probably quite a quite a mild but also wet December. And then we're going to January. Uh, again with this trough of low here, that being very cold air protection to Northern America. For us the low pressure coming across the Atlantic, we have got um strong levels of blocking away to the north if you can envisage but Greenland, uh, Iceland are uh, gonna be up here. Um, then we are we are close to putting in cold air for the north and for the north east. The temperature anomaly is again average to slightly above, nothing cold there. And precipitation wise, it's above average again. So a wet three months to come. And the wind direction, uh, so you can see how close you are to those north east. Is. Look, you can see the black arrows just here in January, bringing those north east is in just to our north. Uh, and in the south, we bring up a southwest, southwest. So there's like a boundary here, I would think, between colder and warmer conditions, or cold, colder and milder conditions. Anyway, uh, could be very interesting January. That could be very, very interesting January. Say no more than that. Right, and finally, the tropical midday view for the three month period overall from November to January, November 2023 to January 2024. Looks like this. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic with a 500 millibar height. So it is a blocking signal up to the northwest as well. So the uh, temperature anomaly in uh, in the three monthly period is average to slightly above. The precipitation anomaly is above average for a wet three months to come. And the overall wind direction from November 2023 to January 2024 looks like this. So southwesterly across most parts of the country. But we do see a hint of an east or a northeasterly away to the north. And that's particularly so, as we've explained, in January. Right, so that's how Pajama 8 is looking for the next three months. Generally very unsettled, certainly for November, probably for December and January as well. And I think the potential for cold increases when we get into January um, in particular. Right, well, that's it for uh, that. Mate. So when we do the Series 1 round on Saturday, you'll know in detail what the JMA is forecasting for the next uh, three months. As I say, the Series 1 round, we won't have time to touch on this, you know, within me, uh, within the rest of the 14, 15 other long-range models. But you've already seen it, so you'll know for yourselves what the JMA is showing for the next three months. We're going to be back at 6pm with our Wednesday live stream. We're live stream at 10 to 14 there. And then straight after that, we've got the fourth and final Christmas 2023 Sydney Peaky. Please keep checking back to the channel for all of today's videos and content. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.